subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notification about the latest updates. Hey there digital friends, in this video we are going to review the new Moto G5. This Moto G5 is the 5th generation of the G series lineup and has a metallic finish. Before going to the review, let us take a quick specs overview. This Moto G5 sports a 5 inch full HD screen and has 13 megapixel rear camera and a 5 megapixel front camera. It has 3 GB of RAM coupled with 16 GB of internal memory and has 1.4 GHz octa core processor. Coming to the design, this Moto G5 has a metallic back surrounded by a plastic lineup. This has the Moto logo and the 13 megapixel rear camera. Coming to the front, we have the 5 megapixel front camera with a single firing speaker. This is the main speaker and to the right we have the power button and the volume rockers. On the top we have the 3.5mm headphone jack and on the left we have absolutely nothing. Coming to the fingerprint sensor, this is the one of the quickest fingerprint sensor. It is very quick and unlocks with just a tap. And going down we have the micro USB port. This device is very easy to hold in hand and the build quality provided with the device is excellent. Coming to the display, this sports a 5 inch Full HD 1080p display with 441 ppi. This 441 ppi makes the display look very sharp. Colors come out to be very accurate and the screen is very bright and vibrant. Coming to the viewing angles, the viewing angles in this display are excellent. We cannot see the fade even in any direction. And now coming to the software version, we have Android Nougat 7.0 out of the box, which is the latest version of the Android. And this phone is inbuilt Amazon integrated, which is the good factor for this phone we can also get the amazon widget which shows the deals of the day coming to the storage this has 16 gb internal memory out of which 10 gb is for the user and remaining is for the software and we can also add a micro sd cards up to 128 gb and the ram in this phone is of 3 gb ram out of which 1.8 GB is commonly used and we have 1.2 GB left for the user which is a very good thing because we can run very heavy apps coming to the sensors I'm hoping the CPU Z application which shows all the sensors this has a 1.4 GHz octagon processor that is the 430 processor available in this phone and we have the system is Android 7.0 the battery is 2800 mAh and these are the temperature sensors available in the device coming to the sensors we have a lot of sensors in this device namely accelerometer gyroscope and proximity sensor this also has an ambient light sensor which senses the light for the outdoor conditions that's all for the sensors now we have the interesting part of the phone that is the motor app this motor app has the motor actions available the main thing included in this phone is the one button navigation this one button navigation is very typical to use you need to swipe right for the multitasking tray swipe left for back and press to go to home I'm turning this off and we have the karate chop to turn on the flashlight that is do a karate chop and the flashlight will be on and do that to turn it off next come the quick twist to open the camera by twisting the phone two times we can open the camera this is the very good functionality of the phone and next we have the swipe to screen this is for the one handed operation we can minimize the screen with this functionality
now coming to the audio quality the audio quality is like average we can get a decent amount of audio volume and even with the ringtone the audio is like okay -ish. let us hear that And another interesting thing in this phone is the Moto display. This Moto display notifies you at every single notification without even touching the phone. Just leave the phone and yes, you are like you get the glance of the notifications and what is happening. You can also pause and move to the next track of your music without even unlocking the phone. This is a good feature for the one who gets a lot of notifications coming to the gaming this phone can run almost any of the games i am using sanders right now this can run even the big and hd games because this has the adreno 505 gpu let us look at how the sanders works in this game The game loads pretty quick and we can see there are no lags. There are some frame drops in the game but the game is pretty much playable. You cannot see any noticeable lags. And the game is smooth. But the HD games consume most of the battery from this phone. You can see this can run the HD game without any issues. Gaming wise this is a decent device this can do a lot of gaming. This Moto G5 sports a 13 megapixel rear camera and a 5 megapixel rear camera. The 13 megapixel rear camera can record up to full HD and the front megapixel rear camera can also record up to full HD. The photos come to be very bright and we also have the HDR mode in this camera. We also have the professional and the manual modes. The photos come out to be very bright and the colors in the photo are like accurate. The normal photo looks like the washed away picture but the HDR the colors are very bright. Here are the sample shots for this phone. Now coming to the battery, this sports a 2800 mAh battery and battery life is above average. I can get a screen on time of 6 hours on the normal usage and on the moderate usage I am getting about 5 hours of screen on time. The standby time is more and this phone can last you up to one day with moderate usage. That's all with the battery. Coming to the verdict, this is a decent phone with above average battery life and can perform all the games with ease. So I would recommend you this phone if your budget is around 11,000 as this has 1000 price drop in amazon and being a prime member you can get another thousand off and you can get this phone for 10,000 that's all for the review of the moto g5 guys and goodbye